Hey guys, it's the Wizard, and today I'm going to be reviewing yet another one of my most favorite decks of all time. And today, that deck happens to be the Black Artisans. As you can see on the front, the tuck is actually embossed and has been printed in gold foil, which does make it a very elegant tuck. In addition, if you can see it, there are lines that are running away from the spade at the very center, which does provide some emphasis on the spade, which is the Artisan logo. In addition, the print is quite fancy, and it's quite elegant, which does make this deck look so much more artistic, so much more elegant, and all around, it's a very nice tuck case, and I have absolutely no complaints about it. Now opening it up on the flap, we have the Artisan logo. There used to be a red sticker seal on here, but I did take that one off. And the inside is just plain black, but let's go ahead and see what you actually get with this deck. Now taking a look at what comes with this deck, you get a standard Theory 11 ad card. And quickly, let's take a look at the back design. Here on the back, we have the Artisan logo top and bottom, along with the Theory 11 logo on either side. Now, the text on the side that is in Latin roughly translates, as best as I can tell, to without labor, nothing can be accomplished. And all around, it's, again, it's another deck that has a message to it, and it's a good message, which is another element of why I really like this deck. In addition, the back design is very artistic, it's very elegant, and it's absolutely amazing. I have nothing bad to say about it. Now, going through, you also get a double backer, and two identical jokers, and neither of these have reveals on them, as you can see. Now, going through the cards themselves, you get an Ace of Spades, fully custom, the ace is absolutely elegant. I mean, this is one of my most favorite aces of all time, if not my most favorite ace. So just take a look at this, and you're going to understand why immediately. Now, going through, the rest of the cards look to be just bicycle standard, but the colorations on the quartz have been modified, and the yellows are a more very light gold, almost borderline silver, which is a nice touch. Also, the red has been toned down in intensity, but all around, this deck, though it's not fully custom, it just looks absolutely amazing and looks like a very nice work of art. Now, take a look at how this deck handles. The minute that you pull this deck out of the tuck, you're going to notice a few significant things. The first is that the deck is thicker than a bicycle standard. But don't worry for those of you who are wondering if it'll be less flexible. This deck is roughly in the same flexibility range as a bicycle standard, so you won't have any problems with your card manipulations. However, it is a lot more durable than a bicycle standard, so if you're looking for a deck to use in the long run, this might be the one for you. Also, the deck is traditionally cut, and the borders are a little thinner than the average deck. So that's it for this video, thank you all for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and if you'd like to learn how to care for any deck of playing cards that you currently own made out of paper, then feel free to check out the links to that in the description down below.